Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So I realize that for all of us, when we think about what is a happy life, we always think that a happy life is when everything is working out perfectly. And, and listen, I know that that's a great fairy tale, but it's really not reality. And if you would look at what God wants for us as it relates to happiness in the Bible, what you realize is that God's plan for our happiness actually involves all sorts of pieces of life, not just when everything is working out. Now, I, I do talk about this in my brand new book called Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life. And I would love for you to check the book out because we talk about the scriptures and what God's how-to manual is for our happiness. One of the things that Jesus said, he said, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. That's one of the Beatitudes. That word blessed can be translated, oh, how happy are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Now here's the deal. Nobody ever thinks, hey, I'm happy when I'm grieving and mourning. But Jesus is, what he's saying is that the reality of who God is in real life at street level, there's gonna be times of grief. There's gonna be times of sadness. I mean, Jesus wept. But the person who grieves because of the brokenness of the world, their own fallenness and sinfulness, whatever the thing that causes grief, it says the person who grieves will be comforted because God is a God who wants to wipe away every tear from every eye. And really our happiness is not divorced from grief. Really God's plan for our happiness involves times of sadness. That's why in the Psalms there's all these lament Psalms where, where the psalmist is sad because things are messed up. And it's amazing when you realize that God's plan for our happiness actually involves times of grief, lament, and mourning. So listen, you can get more about this in my book, but this is what I do. First, I want you to share this message because so often people think, man, I would only be happy if there was no times of sadness. No, no, no. God's plan for our happiness involves sadness because in our sadness, He brings comfort. And here's what I want you to do. In the comment section, tell me a story about something that caused sadness, but God came and brought comfort that the sadness gave way to great joy. Like it says, though the sorrow may last for the night, the joy comes with the morning. And God bless you today.